Apple promised some insanely huge increases with the performance on an iPhone 6S versus an iPhone 6, sporting the new A9 processor versus the A8, and two gigs of RAM versus one gig of RAM. Let's put these two phones to the test and see exactly how much faster the 6S is over the 6 in this episode of Geek with Glasses. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, folks, here we have it. We've got the brand new iPhone 6S on the left, and we have the iPhone 6 on the right. Again, this is an A9 processor with two gigs of RAM, and this is an A8 processor with one gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and do a boot up test real quick and get those turned on. And I noticed the Apple logo shows up on the 6 a little bit quicker, but let's see. I have a feeling the 6S is going to be a pretty good performance boost. I mean, Apple is telling us, you know, almost two times as fast with graphics intensive or GPU tasks. And I think it was like 80%. I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but 80% faster for regular CPU cycles. So let's see. There we go. Okay. So the 6S is up and running and booted. I have both of these machines imaged exactly the same. I restored my 6S from a backup that I made last night of my 6. So these are exactly the same, the same amount of data, the same apps, the same photos, everything is the same so we can do a real world test here. So let's go ahead and uh, get into these phones. I'm going to pull them out of frame real quick so I can type in the passcodes. And we will do a couple other tests real quick. All right, so here we have on the home screen. and. Let's just, uh, let's open up photos first real quick. Let's see what happens here. Boom. A little bit faster. Very, very slight. Not a huge difference whatsoever um, with the, uh, the 6S versus the 6. So let's go ahead and try launching Facebook and let it reload, refresh. A little bit faster. This is this has definitely got a little bit more speed to it. Um, I do have both of these in airplane mode, but connected to my Wi-Fi, so we don't have any issues with cell phone reception or anything like that. So um, Facebook was a little bit faster. I, I would say you know it's not significantly faster in apps and and just responsiveness of the, the 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 UI utilization. Let's go ahead and jump into the App Store and see what happens. Yeah, again. Well, that one's a little bit quicker. That one definitely has a little, it's a little, a little snappier. I'd say maybe 20% faster, you know, off the top of the hands. I got a, a geek bench, so we'll definitely take a look at that. Uh, let's see, what can we load next? How about Safari? Those are almost on par. Those are almost exact. Let's go to the Orvis website and see what happens. Yeah. That it's just a, a tad bit faster with some of these basic functions. Now, let's go ahead and do something a little bit graphically intensive and see, although it's not super intensive. Uh, let's, let's open up SkyFree on both of them. So this one will actually be decent, or SkyView, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, so that's a lot faster. That is definitely a lot quicker loading that up. Uh, for whatever reason, I think this one is looking for, for north. I haven't calibrated this phone using Skyview yet, but this one definitely opened a little faster. And let's say, let's try Crossy Road. Very similar so far. They both launched the titles pages pretty quickly. Hmm, there's definitely, yeah, there's a huge difference there. Huge, huge difference there. Uh, yep, Game Center. Wow. Big time difference um, between the two there. That was definitely uh, a huge improvement on the 6S over the 6 on launching that graphical uh, game. But let's go ahead and run a Geekbench and let's see how the two fare against a formal uh, test. So as you can see, A8 running at 1.4 gigahertz with one gig of RAM. This is a, a, this one actually doesn't even show A9. It shows an ARM processor at 1.8 gigahertz. So not significantly faster as far as the processing, the actual frequency that the chip runs. But, uh, you know, the A9 is being touted as being a significantly faster chip and two gigs of RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and run a processor benchmark on the two of these and let them run and we will see what we get. You can see this one's almost done, 15 seconds. This one took 15 seconds to complete the test. And 
we're at 24 seconds, so almost twice as long, 25 seconds, so almost twice as fast. Uh, five seconds shy of being two times as fast. So here are our actual scores. You can see 16, 18 in the single core uh, processing score and 25, 23, significantly faster. 43, 94 versus 29, 11. So the 6S is definitely showing much faster numbers when it comes to the actual Geekbench um, information. We can see all of the individual uh, processing info. Let's go ahead and go back to home and let's run a battery benchmark. I'm not exactly sure what the battery benchmark is going to do, but let's run it anyway. All right, dim screen start. All right, let's see what happens with this. I've never actually run the battery benchmark, but let's see what this, what this does. All right, well, I'm not exactly sure what is actually happening. This has been running for one minute and 10 seconds. It's not really doing much of anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually cancel this test. Uh, let's see, there we go. I guess this gives us a battery score. Both of them got 11 after running for a minute and 16 seconds. So not exactly sure what that means, but the, there we go. So I also find it interesting that the the uh, Geekbench is finding and recognizing this as model 8.1, and it's recognized, okay, so I guess 7.2. It reads this one as iPhone 6, which is the 7.2 build, and it's reading this one just straight out as iPhone 8.1. It's not showing that it is a iPhone 6S. And the other thing I find very interesting is that it's showing an ARM processor as opposed to the Apple A9. Now, I do know that Samsung makes the processor in the new phones. I wonder if that's what it is signifying. But there we have it. So there you have a pretty decent test of the two phones in speed. Everyday operations looks like the 6S is a little bit quicker than the 6 from your just normal navigation and normal tasking. There was a huge difference in launching that game, that graphically intensive game for sure. It was a lot faster with the 6S and these numbers are definitely a lot uh, more impressive on the 6S. I do find it interesting that these numbers are different than the numbers that we just saw, but again, they're significantly faster when it comes to uh, the performance numbers that the, the phone is actually throwing up up on the screen. So yeah, there we go. 1.83, 1.4, one processor, two cores, one processor, two cores. But the big, big difference here is the two gigs of RAM. All right, so there you have it. The straight up speed duke out between the 6S and the 6. I've got more videos in this series on uh, 6 versus 6S, so please stay tuned. Like this video if you like it. Dislike this video if you dislike it. Subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and have a great day.